Um, as you can see, it is more or less surrounded on all sides by mountains. Uh, I did, motorcycling partially influenced my move out here, but like DP Rider was asking me in, in my last video, the, the walk around of the apartment. Uh, motorcycling is what brought me here. Like all these trips to uh, Deals Gap, we always drove to Chattanooga. And if you're smart, the fast way home uh, back to anywhere the, to the west of here uh, from Deals Gap basically comes through here. Or especially from like Gatlinburg and shit like that. There's little back roads that'll take you over to the freeway to come down here and then you can go up to Knoxville, Memphis, or Birmingham, whichever direction you're going. Um, so I knew the city was here. I had a couple of friends that lived here and uh, one of them, Michelle, has a huge, well not huge, but maybe, you know, 10 or 15 people that she's really good friends with. She's lived here for her whole life. And so I'm pretty sure that I can assimilate myself into that crowd. Um, it might take a little while, but I'm sure I can do it. Uh, just like, you know, get in with any other group of friends. Uh, she came to Hills Gap in August and brought one of those friends. Her name's Tanya. She lives uh, like right around the corner from me, like maybe a mile and a half from my house, my apartment. So the three of us have hung out quite a bit. And I think it's gonna work out. But, you know, writing is what brought me to the area, but what made me want to stay here is the fact that it feels so much like Austin, but it's, it's pretty. <laughs> Not right now, it's, it's fucking everything dead. But the fall colors were gorgeous. Uh, you'll see some of those, in, or some of that stuff in my videos over the winter. Uh, my ride up here from my house in Houston was gorgeous. But the people are really nice. The roads are really good. Uh, it, the economy's doing all right. It's doing about the same as it is in Texas. Um, I actually found a website that compared, you know, dollar to dollar, uh, different areas, different zip codes. And San Marcos compared almost identically to here. Food here was like 3% cheaper gas there is like 3% cheaper, so it really kind of evens out in the long run. But uh, yeah, I really like it. Uh, we got the Tennessee River over here. It actually runs right through the middle of the river, borders downtown. Um, we're fixing it right into the Tennessee River Gorge. And I've, I've done some cruising around on the truck, in the truck mostly, uh, a little bit of riding around on the bike. And I found some really cool stuff. Um, I really want a dirt bike because <laughs> that, that big hill in front of me, I don't know the name of it. This is Signal Mountain to the right. But this big one up in front of me and over there, uh, on top of that, or in, in the valley and all that, is called uh, Prentice Cooper Wildlife Management Area. And it's kind of hard to explain, but there's off-road trails up there and dirt roads and gravel roads and shit. And I want a four-wheeler or a KLR or something that I could take up there and play around with. Apparently, there's a lot of trails all over the area out here. And I have absolutely no problem believing that. Uh, my truck is not four-wheel drive. Unfortunately, it's a long wheelbase, low-slung, two-wheel drive truck. It's absolutely horrible for off-roading. Uh, it, it's like the perfect example of what you don't want. It's basically... 15 foot, or, well not 15 feet, it's actually longer than that I think. But uh, it, it basically, it's like twice as long as a Civic and the same height. <laughs> so yeah, you can do it down dirt roads and, and some hills and shit, but that back end starts to slip going up a hill, you're fucked. Uh, so I'd like to get something. Now I won't be able to buy anything while I'm living in this apartment, unless I get a really kick-ass job and can afford a nice big storage unit to turn into a garage. But, uh, so that, you know, that won't happen for a while. Um, on the subject of garages, I really want a garage. Oh my God. But I know I can find an apartment around here somewhere that's got them, but they're like $1,400 a month or some shit. 
and I really don't see myself moving out of the place that I've got right now uh, until I'm ready to buy a house. Uh, God forbid, you know, unless something really weird happens. I'll probably live there for a couple of years, you know, and whenever I'm ready to settle down and I've got some dumb bitch that's willing to actually marry my ass, uh, maybe buy a house or something. But uh, until then, I'll probably stay in the same spot. So I probably won't have an apartment for a couple of years. But, like I said, there is a chance of using a storage unit or something. There's a nice little creek that's actually called a Suck Creek. 